<clears throat> Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of reluctant to start this message tonight because it's gotten so late. Uh, I was on earlier with uh, Bonnie uh, Harvey over at Hebrew Nation Radio. We were discussing the situation over in Ukraine and uh, a lot of things going on there as well. But this teaching is something I've been working on uh, since Sunday and it's Daniel's vision. Uh, going back where the king sees, he beholds the great image. Uh, and of course, we know the image is, is an image of gold. Uh, the arms are of silver, the belly and the thighs of brass, legs of iron, and the iron part uh, uh, part of clay. And then we get into the ten toes. We have the iron mixed uh, with miry clay. Um, and I know I shared with you guys a little while back where my wife was saying, okay, you know, perhaps that mixing of the tin toes, the iron and the clay, clay being the human, and of course, iron being technology. But when you begin to read the scripture on this, we find out too that they mingle themselves with the seed of men. See, right here, verse 43, And whereas thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves by the seed of man. Now, this is a very deep message, and I really, really, really want to do this the right justice. Um, and the reason I say that, I've done a lot of research uh, going into the Dead Sea Scrolls, uh, looking at the, the, uh, this writing here in Daniel, looking at, uh, of course, the scripture of Daniel, going to the book of Numbers, uh, the fiery serpents, things of that nature there. Moses making the brass serpent. There's a connection between these. Uh, if you go back, for example, we know that the belly of this thing is made of what? It's made, that's where the belly and the, and the thighs are made of brass. And we're looking at different kingdoms and the power. And of course, the iron comes and, and dominates the entire earth. In fact, literally dominates the entire earth because in the Dead Sea Scrolls, uh, it says right there in verse 40, the fourth kingdom will be strong as iron because iron breaks in pieces and subdues all things. And as iron that crushes all these, it will break in pieces and crush. And that's all we have in our can. And then it has all the earth. Global domination. And some would argue that uh, Daniel's vision has been fulfilled. In, in principle, I would say yes, because Christ is that uh, that, that rock that is cut out without hands comes and just destroys this image. But it's his work that he did on Calvary that does that destruction. But I think what we're facing now is we're facing the fulfillment of that destruction in the days that we're living in now. And so as I was looking at this and as I'm going over this, I'm thinking to myself, OK, I want to get uh, you guys need to know what's going on here. But at the same time, I want to make sure we do this justice and that I don't just haphazardly put this together, because the other thing that comes to my mind is when we're looking at this iron. All right, for example, let's go like this here. Jesus, when he was here, he said that the Pharisees, OK, were serpents, vipers. The reptilians and what do we have in the days of Moses we have Moses you know they're the, the children of Israel built bitten by the serpents because of their complaining and things that they're doing they wish they were back in Egypt and had the melons etc and stuff like that and then Yahweh sends in the serpents to take and bite them and then they lift up the brass serpent put him on a pole and it can't you can't help but wonder if that's not <laughs> well, just think about it. It's, it's the serpent. It's the Nahash, uh kingdom at that time. Also in the times of Christ when he was here. But in that latter end, we deal with iron. And iron, of course, I, I can't help but think about uh, Planet X coming. It is called the Iron Planet. What is it? It is a civilization of reptilians. So the whole image, the whole domination of the earth and everything is dominated by a reptilian race. 
uh, that has dominated from the time of Nebuchadnezzar all the way down to the very end of days. And so I want to go into this, and I want to go into this deeper with you guys and share these things with you, going into the different scriptures as well with it, Isaiah, uh, you know, and, and, and the scriptures in Deuteronomy. There's so much that bears record with this, and you need to be able to see this. Uh, and again, like I said, going into the Dead Sea Scrolls. Um, actually, that's not the one I was looking for there. Uh, but there's other ones in the Dead Sea Scrolls that I want to be able to share with you and really do this justice, not just haphazardly do this. Uh, also, too, uh, and because I'm only just kind of highlighting some things that I want to share with you, let me uh, share with you as well that I'm hoping to be able to catch up with uh, some of the things that are going on in D.C. Uh, and or not so much D.C., but what is going on overseas. I know that there has been some discussions about China and Taiwan uh, I'm going to be trying to share that with you guys coming up pretty soon. Uh, that may be over on Patreon. I'm not sure yet where I'm going to be doing that at. Uh, as well as the war in Ukraine. Where is it going? What's going to happen? There is a lot of talk, a lot of talk of that war spreading into the United States. Um, and that's a very real possibility. So I need to try to get an update on that for you guys as well. I don't know the answer to that, but hopefully we can find out uh, uh, more about what's going on there. And this video, if you haven't seen it, did Putin foil NATO back plot against Donbass? Really ought to watch that. It is, it is it, the information was extremely accurate in this, uh, this video here. So I want to get you guys caught up on Donbass there. Um, and, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm just sitting here thinking some crazy things that are going on there. So anyway, uh, uh, pray for our family. You know, really, really, I sincerely ask you that. Um, very, very difficult times that we're going through right now here. So I just ask if you would keep us uplifted in prayer. We would greatly appreciate that. But I, I think tomorrow night, I'll go ahead and release this video about Daniel. And I'm still doing researching. I, I actually... I've got books laid out everywhere, documents and stuff. Uh, another one here on the Dead Sea Scrolls. Specifically, when you get into 4Q426, uh, you know, we get into, th this also backs up a lot of what I want to share with you. And the Seed of the Wicked Ones, for example. And a lot of these from 426 all the way to 429, I believe it is. Yes, 429 there is, we get into some very interesting things. I think that will confirm uh, what I believe that we're about to face. I mean, we're really on the on the verge of watching uh, this prophecy of Daniel in its last stages. Like I said, Christ fulfilled it in that destruction, but the manifestation of that crushing of those uh, the the toes of the miry clay mixed with clay mingling the seed. There's so much more information I still want to put together, and that's what I've been working on, studying different documents, especially in the Dead Sea Scrolls, because there is a lot of information there that gets overlooked. So anyway, please bear with me. I appreciate you, and and we love you guys, and we thank you for uh, for listening, and God bless you.